Hi guys, it's Lori. Today I am going to be going over the FabFitFun winter add-on sale. Um, the add-ons just opened today for seasonal members, so the sale is live. Um, so I'm basically going to let you know, here's the little thing showing that you can shop until November 5th at 11.59 Pacific Standard Time. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I am going to scroll through this the entire add-on sale, and let me just double check, make sure this is really recording, it's not showing me. Okay, it is recording. It. I had gone through this entire thing and it stopped recording. So this is my second run through of this whole thing. Um, but anyways, what we're going to do is I'm going to scroll through and let you see all of the items that are in the sale. Um, and I'm going to give you some thoughts about the sale, how I um, shop the sale, and just some tips um, on how to get everything that you want. So if I'm scrolling too quickly and you see something that you want to look at, be sure and just pause the video um, and read over what the title is or look at it closer. Um, like I said, this is my second time going through this because my screen recording was apparently not working when I just did that. So it was like a very long video as it is already or would have been a very long video had it recorded. So I'm just going to scroll through these as quickly as possible so that I can bring you guys these, um, the spoilers of everything in the FabFitFun sale, um, just as quickly as possible here. So what I'm doing is just scrolling through and this is what I do when the sale opens, I always jump on right away and, um, start adding things to my cart. And you'll see up in that upper right hand corner of my screen, that's my cart right there. And that's the items that I have in my cart. I literally have 123 items in my cart. Um, now I will tell you, I am definitely not going to be buying 123 items in this sale. Not even close. Um, I can show you at the end when I'm done scrolling through all of this, what my cart total is currently at. And I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm going to guess that it's probably about $3,000, um, which I'm definitely not planning on spending $3,000 on the add-on sale. But what I do is I go through and add everything that I could possibly want. Like I want to just make sure and that I can get everything in my cart that I want. And then once I'm done doing that, I will normally sit down and go through my cart and be realistic about what's in there. Um, a lot of times there's things that I want to look up, want to research, want to see if it's actually something that I want. Um, so then I will narrow down my cart as the day goes on today. Now, the nice thing about FabFitFun is that once it's in your cart, it is yours. It's reserved for you. And until you take it out, it's not going anywhere. Now, I say that and they did have it might have been the last sale or the sale before. They had kind of a glitch in the very beginning where they didn't save the carts and they tried to, um, they restored people's carts and there were some things missing when that happened. But that is definitely an exception, not the rule. So in general, unless there's some strange site glitch, whatever you put in your cart is yours in your cart until you remove it. So this is both good and bad because if you forget about the end of the sale and you have a bunch of stuff in your cart, you're pretty much in huge trouble. Like if I forgot to come back to my cart and edit it, I would literally be charged for those 123 items in my cart. Um, definitely not something that I would want to buy. I would not want to pay for 123 items in my cart. And I will show you guys in a little bit what that total looks like. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing it's about $3,000. Um, so it's good though, in that, like I know with a boxy pop-up, for example, you can add things to your cart, but until you check out, they're not guaranteed to be yours. Um, so if there's hot items that you want in those sales, you've got to check, get on there and check out really quickly. Um, with FabFitFun, once it's in your cart, you're good. Um, and so, yeah, I always just add everything I could want and then go through and delete stuff. Um, like here, um, let me just show you this no BS day and night hydrolonic cream. 
I have that in my cart and it shows you there's a little two there with a red plus sign. So I have two items of that in my cart right now. Um, it's showing that it's still in stock since the plus sign is red. So I could go and add a third one. Um, you are limited. You can only add three of a given item, even if it's still in stock. So that's kind of their way to limit people from just buying a ton of, you know, a ton of one item or whatever. So you are allowed to buy three of any one item. If it is out of stock right now, like you can see, you'll see a lot of little one or two or threes with the plus sign there. That just is, that'll show up that way on the items that are in my cart already. Um, if it's out of stock, it will say, like, if, say, this um, Glam Glow Gravity Mud was out of stock, it would say one max. So that doesn't mean you're only able to get one the whole sale. That just means right now you can only max out on one because that is all that is in stock. Um, yeah, so if you also notice, there's a little heart at the top of each picture. If you click on the heart on any item, like I'll just randomly click the heart on this. It's not an item I'm wanting. But if you click that heart, that is considered putting it in your favorites. So when I'm done scrolling through here, I will also show you the favorites category. And if there's things that you really want in this sale, the favorites category is going to become your best friend. So anything that's out of stock, you just click on the little heart and add it to your favorites. And then you can click on the favorites link. Um, and in the favorites link, it'll show you all your favorites in one spot. So rather than sitting here and scrolling through all these items, which you can see there is a ton of items. But so instead of having to scroll through all these items to see if something's back in stock later, you can just go to the favorites section and it'll show all of those items there. And then you are able to refresh your browser just over and over. It's called the refresh game. Everybody who um, in the FabFit forums plays the game so you refresh to see if you can get your item. And I know it sounds crazy, but people are constantly adding... Here's the thing. See, three max there. This is just a side note, but it says three max. That's showing me that the item may or may not be in stock still, but I can only add three items. So I can't add any more because I'm at the max of three. Um, yeah, sorry, I lost my train of thought. So people spend a ton of time refreshing for those hot items that they really want. Um, so if you just keep hitting the refresh button, eventually most things that you want in the sale will come back in stock and you will be able to add them to your cart. Um, it's actually kind of an addicting little game to sit there and see how fast you can refresh and you have to be super fast. When things come in, back in stock, they may only be in stock for like a second or two. So you have to be super fast with refreshing and then being able to add to box or hit the plus sign if it was that you were trying to get more than one of them. Um, so it's kind of a fun little game. And yeah, it's just, I mean, I guess FabFitFun knows how to make these sales work because not only are we like rushing to add stuff to our carts, but then we're playing the refresh game to try to get the items that we want. Um, and now as far as the items go... The sales are different every time, but there are items that are repeated in the sales um, over and over again. And hold on, I'm just going to double check and make sure this is still recording, see if I can see that. Oops, that's not going to tell me. Um, uh, it's not going to tell me. Hopefully it is still recording. Um, sorry, I'm just, I literally don't want to like go through this whole thing and then have it not be recording. Um, sorry, I totally lost my train of thought. Um they definitely, FabFitFun is super smart, though, with these sales because they get us with the the rush to see what's there. We want to add everything to our cart because it's limited, um, and they keep us coming back to their site throughout the sale to keep adding things or checking to see if something that you wanted was in stock. Um, and FabFitFun has their own forums. Um, like, you can go into the community tab on FabFitFun and people are constantly talking about the items in the sale. So they're like, what are your must-haves? Or there'll be threads asking about that kind of stuff. And then if you read those, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I really do need that item. And then, you know, you end up shopping for it and buying it. So it's kind of a dangerous thing. But if you're looking for specific things, 
Um, and like I said, like it's Christmas. Well, no, I didn't say this, but it's Christmas time coming up. It's November 1st and they have supposedly fixed their shipping issues. So these add-on items should be here before Christmas. So a lot of these things in the sale would make great gifts or, um, stocking stuffers or whatever for the holiday season. So yeah, there's tons of great items here. Um, of course there's crazy things that you would really never want to buy. And I actually really wonder some of these things, if people buy, like you can buy couches. I'll get, when we get down to the end here, you'll see, did I just skip some stuff? I think I did. Um, oh no, I might've jumped back up. Sorry. My finger hit the little scrolling button on the side there, I think. Um, so we're scrolling back through a few items here. It jumped me back up a little bit, but, um, yeah, you can buy couches, you can buy huge rugs, you can buy lamps, you can buy all kinds of stuff. And I've just, I'm curious to know if people actually buy those items in the sale. Um, I definitely wouldn't buy a couch on FabFitFun. I mean, maybe if it was something that you had seen that exact couch somewhere else and you'd sat in it and, you know, looked at it and knew that it was what you wanted, maybe it would be a good deal to get a sale on it. But I don't know. It just seems crazy to me to buy something big like a couch on FabFitFun. Um, yeah, so we're still scrolling here. There's still a ton of items to go. Um, this sale, this add-on sale, they're doing things a little bit differently. Um, they have There's two different types of members for FabFitFun. There are annual members and there's seasonal members. So if you are an annual member... You pay for your box up front and you're able to customize more items in your box and you have the benefit that you have access to the add-on sales sooner than the seasonal members, the people who just pay quarterly for their boxes. Um, I personally am an annual member and so I had access to the sale starting today at noon Eastern time, November 1st. Um, yeah, here's a couch. Sorry, on a side note, you can for $13.99, you can buy an L-shaped couch or a regular sofa for $9.79. Um, so I have access, had access today, and my billing, like I can shop the sale until November 5th at $11.59. And then normally, before the sale ends for the annual people, the seasonal members would be able to start shopping Um and the sale normally would end at the same time for both groups of shoppers. But this um, box, they're trying something new for the first time where the annual members, our sale will end first. And then a couple days later, the seasonal people will be able to shop and they'll have their own start time and their own end time. And there will not be annual people shopping at all with them now. I guess annuals, we have the option to shop during that time also, but we would be charged shipping additionally and the items um, would ship separately from our box. Um, okay, we're through. That's all the items that are in stock. And now we got down to the sponsored add-on. So there is an item you can add for free and you can see this is a mint mobile wireless offer and a tea tree shampoo. So I've added both of them to my cart. You're only able to add one of each of the sponsored items, but those are totally free. So now we're going to scroll through. We're going to keep scrolling. And these are the items that are out of stock. Um, the sale is still really early here. So there's not very many items out of stock, but there's a few. Um, so you'll be able to see what the interesting items, what the hot items that people are looking for. Or sometimes it's just that it's items that they only had a limited number of, not very many of. So all these items that are out of stock, if you see things that you want, don't lose hope. Because if you just heart them, like there's a shampoo and conditioner set. You see that red heart? That means I favorited it. And so it's in my favorites items. So I'll be able to check back easily rather than having to go through this entire list of in stock and out of stock items just to find one thing. Um... I'll be able to click on my favorites and it'll show me everything that I had put a heart on. And then you can quickly check and see if it's in stock and add it to your cart quickly. Because you can see this video has been quite long so far. So you can see how long it takes to scroll through everything. So that is the end of the list of products. That's everything in the sale. And now on the side, if I go to my favorites. So this shows me everything that I've put a heart on. So 
I only have four items in my favorites here just to show you what it is like. So then the refresh game is you refresh your browser there and I'm refreshing it and it'll just bring here, sorry, it's slowly refreshing, but it'll bring my favorites back up. And look, these two are both in stock now. That's a perfect example. Oh, I missed it though. I wasn't fast enough. So you have to be super fast. And then if you scroll down here, those are the two that are out of stock. So you just refresh again and something may pop up as being in stock or it may not. Um, so once you refresh, no, those are still all four out of stock. Um, now I'm going to show you what's in my cart here. If it'll let me click on it. So these, it shows all the items that are in my cart. Um, if it has a red air or red plus sign, that means I can still add more of those items. If the plus sign is gray, that either means I've maxed out on the amount that you can have, um, that I have the three max or it's out of stock. Um, so yeah, this is everything in my cart. Now I will not keep all these in my cart. I normally buy, I keep my cart total at the end of the sale about a hundred dollars or less. That's kind of my goal. But like I had said before, I try, oh, it's not going to show me the bottom. Okay. I'm going to have to, will it show me the total in my cart here? Maybe it won't either. Um, it's not going to show me. I will leave a comment in the comment section letting you know it doesn't show the cart total in here. But um, yeah, so don't worry. I'm not buying all the items in my cart. I just have them reserved for, for myself. And I'm going to go through later this afternoon and get rid of the stuff that I don't want and get my cart down to um, $100 or less probably is what I'll end up getting it down to. That's kind of always my goal. So anyways... That was my quick run through. I don't know how quick it actually was, but as quick as I could be, my quick run through of all the items in the winter FabFitFun add-on sale um, and a few tips and tricks that I have for shopping the sale. So be sure and like this video, comment down below what you're looking for, what you tried to grab in the sale and subscribe to check back for more spoiler videos and more updates on subscription boxes. I know the customization for annual starts tomorrow so I will be putting out a video tomorrow of the full reveal of the winter box so you'll want to check back for that so thanks for watching and have a great day guys bye